Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. Very well. Well, I am very happy to see you again, to be here with you, and for sure to have the opportunity to share another class with all of you. Great. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi. Good it's, evening. A, it's a pleasure to see you. How was your weekend? Good well. It was well. Hey, Carlos, you have a new hairstyle. Yes. You see? Ah. <laughs> I keep an eye on all my students, huh? Yeah, really, yeah. yeah hi. I keep an eye on all of you. And that's very that's very nice. You look very okay. elegant. Okay. Hello, Elena. Hello, Anna. Hello, Elba. Hello, Julio. Hello, Ingrid. Hello, Mr. David. Hello, Mr. Carlos. Josue and Eduardo. Welcome to this new Monday. And for sure, we are going to have the opportunity to work a lot today. Did you have the chance to advance on the platform? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's very good. So remember that the platform is something that you can work on your own, I mean, on your own pace. If you can advance as much as possible, do it. That's very important. If you advance on the platform a lot, that's correct. There's no problem, okay? Ustedes pueden ir avanzando en la plataforma todo lo que puedan, todo lo que puedan. Pueden ir haciendo los ejercicios y la terminan ya, no hay problema. La idea es que avancen en eso porque eso les va a dar el paso a certificarse con este módulo. Tienen la oportunidad de corregir, tienen la oportunidad de corregir si de repente se equivocan en algo, pregunten en el grupo cómo pueden hacerlo, cómo pueden mejorarlo, entre todos les podemos ayudar y pues obviamente después si de repente alguna algún ejercicio les quedó con 90% por ejemplo, pueden volver a hacerlo, pueden regresar a los ejercicios, corregir cualquier cosa y pues sal, salir con todo su ejercicio en el 100%, ¿ok? Ese fue un comercial de inglés corporativo. <laughs> Do the exercises on the platform. Excellent. So we are going to work on that a little bit today. We are going to cover a little bit on the platform and then we are going to finish or um, the section that we are working, okay? En el caso de las clases, nos tomamos un poquito más de detalle en cada uno de los temas para que ustedes comprendan toda la idea del tema, ¿verdad? Pero no es que el tema que vemos ahora, ese tienen que trabajar en la plataforma, no. Ustedes pueden ir avanzando muchísimo más, okay? ¿Por qué? Porque aquí hoy me detengo, les explico ya más, más en detalle. Ustedes pueden practicar, hacen preguntas, etc. Eso les va a servir para todos sus módulos. Y para los que me, me los encuentren más adelante. Ya van a decir, ah, no, teacher, me acuerdo cuando estábamos en Principiante 3, que usted nos dio esos tips y ahora yo los ocupo. Ya cuando los tenga bien avanzado, ¿no? Vea. Y ya para graduarse. Qué emoción. <risa> Ya les dije, quiero ir a dar esos diplomas ahí en vivo, en presencial. A cada uno, así. Tengo una duda. Dígame. Eh, con referente a eso, la, eh, las notas, eh, bajo, cuando usted va trabajando en la plataforma, eh, le aparecen unos porcentajes. ¿Qué significan uh -huh. eso? El porcentaje ¿Cómo? es la nota. Ah. Es su nota. Es lo que, va, lo, que va, lo que va puntuando. Por ejemplo, todos los ejercicios se tienen que pasar con un 100%. Ahí es, eso es lo, lo ideal. Si de repente hay algún ejercicio que tiene algún detalle que le está fallando, pregunte y entre todos le ayudamos a que todas las, las preguntas le salgan en verdecito ahí, perfecto. Esa es la idea. Y para eso es el grupo, para eso estamos todos, para apoyarnos. Y si de repente no me lo quiere mandar al grupo, me lo manda a mí de un solo y yo le apoyo con mucho gusto. Ok, otra duda que tengo es con referente a los módulos, uno se tiene que estar inscribiendo eh, de manera mensual. Sí, eso sí. Eh, por ahí más o menos como en la tercera semana, ya cuando vayamos cerquita de finalizar, eh, les cae un correo, ustedes sí, actualizan, sí. Ajá, les cae un correo de inscripción, vuelven a mandar su datos de nuevo, los formularios creo también, 
O sea, todo el proceso, cada módulo. ¿Por qué? Porque así llevamos el control de todos los que se inscriben y pues obviamente que usted renueva el compromiso que tiene con Inglés Corporativo y con la beca y con todo el apoyo y todo el eh, Insaport, etc. Y pues obviamente con los que están a través de recursos humanos, también vea. Creo que ese es otro proceso. Eh, igual, entonces, ¿esto es casi como un año entonces? Más o menos. Casi como que hace una carrera o un técnico. Así es. Aquí vamos, a, no vamos a la carrera, esta es una carrera. <risa> ¿Por qué? Sí. Porque obviamente es su curso de preparación en el idioma. Sí le va a tomar alrededor de un año, un poquito más. Eh, porque sí, usted sale completamente preparado en el idioma desde cero hasta avanzado. Allá cuando... Ya, esto va a ser puro English, everything. Ok. okay. Yes. Este, ¿Hasta dónde tenemos que haber avanzado? Es que me cayó un, un mensaje, pero yo pensé, me decía que tengo que haber terminado el midterm y iniciar el, el módulo 4. Yes. ¿Y el 4 hasta dónde sería? Es la sección 4. Como van por secciones, vea. Ah, es que me que tenía que iniciarlo, pero no, no, no hay que terminarlo. No, ustedes lo pueden terminar si termina la 4 y la 5 y los final, no hay problema. Mejor, así sale ya de eso. <risa> ya. No es mi, dígame. Hola, teacher. Hi. Fíjese que en mi caso este, me habilitaron plataformas el día lunes. Entonces yo sí voy un poquito atrasada, primera vez que me atraso, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno. Pero. Eh, Fíjese que, bueno, de hecho tendría que estar desde el viernes anterior, ¿verdad? Del día Ajá. que comenzó, pero yo les estaba escribiendo este, a varios de, de, que son encargados de esto de la plataforma y no me contestaron. Me contestaron hasta el lunes bien tarde y ahí fue donde yo empecé a trabajar. Entonces mi tiempo ha sido más corto. No sé ahí cómo puedo hacer para que me puedan ayudar ellos, ¿verdad? Por lo menos con el tiempo, porque si no, no estaba en mis manos esa situación. Ok, sí, para este momento entonces usted trate de ir, llevarlo a, a, a lo más que pueda, al ritmo que pueda. Y este, sí, el inconveniente este de la plataforma, pues obviamente es entendible de que la atrasó un poquito. Entonces trate de, de irse poniendo al nivel. Tal vez no, mañana va a estar ya en la sección 4 o 5, ¿verdad? pero sí. para que la vaya avanzando y la vamos a ir trabajando y vamos a estar pendientes ahí del avance que ha tenido. Si igual se traba o algo en alguna cosa, ahí con mucho gusto escríbame y yo le apoyo. Vale, saben por qué me cayó el mensajito, ¿verdad? Y yo les explicaba ahí de que ese fue el problema con la plataforma, porque de verdad, de hecho, no estaban hasta que me, me costó, les soy honesta. Sí, Entonces, creo que sí me, me, me pasó tarde, con, ¿verdad? creo que pasó con alguien más, pero igual, escríbanme de un solo a mi personal, ahí me ven en el, en el grupo, ahí soy la que les escribe cada rato. Escríbanme de un solo a mí y yo pues obviamente también les hago el pase ahí de los mensajes a, a los encargados para agilizar un poquito los procesos. Okay. Bye. Cualquier Bye. problema que Gracias. tenga, cualquier problema que le sura. Okay. Bueno, ok, let's work. Let me see. Hit this. Here it is. We're going to work a little bit on the, the platform. We're going to check it just to uh, make sure that we have been advancing. Si no, ahorita, mire, no hay mi vaya, se meter ahí y trabajamos juntos. <laughs> Aprovechen. So, uh, section one, it was the first one that we did, that it was to practice going to. And as you did all the exercises, there is not going to be a problem for us to complete them, right? We have worked on all the exercises of the first part of the platform about going to. In this case, uh, let, let her work. Cuando aquí cargue mi computadora. There we go. So we had the different exercises. In this one, we have to listen to an audio and we are going to get the answers for uh, the exercise. Do you remember the exercise? Do you remember a little bit of the information you did here? ¿Se recuerdan que hicieron en esta parte de la plataforma? Estaba una conversación y estaba diciendo lo lo que ellos estaban realizando, las acciones que estaban realizando. Ok. So here we have Michelle, Kevin, Robert, and Jane. And they have different clothing and different things about what, the, about what they are going to do. 
So here we have Michelle is going to the gym, celebrate a birthday, meet a friend, or go shopping. We have to uh, listen and get the best of the answers. The next one that we have, Kevin. Kevin is this one. Kevin is going to listen to music, play video games, go dancing, or go for a walk. We have Robert here, all stressed out. Robert is going to read, work at home, make a blueprint, or work. And Jane, the rocker, uh, is she going to go dancing, see a movie, go to a party, or listen to music? So in this case, we have this listening. Let's go over it to check. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin, are you... What is, what is Michelle going to do right now? Meet a friend. Meet a friend. She's going to meet a friend, yeah. right? She's going to meet a friend. Let's listen about Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games. Yeah, I am. Play, play video game. Kevin is going to play video games. Very good. Robert, yes. what is Robert going to do? Can I ask your name? Yes, my name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. What is Robert going to do? He's going to the... He's going to work at home. He's going to work at home, right? And what about Jane? Let's listen to Jane. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. Yes. <laughs> listen to music. She's going to listen, listen to, music. to music. What type of music? Yes. Yes. Jazz. <laughs> she always listens to jazz. <laughs> yes. So that's it, right? We have the first evaluation of unit uh, section one. The second evaluation that you had to do in section one was about the sentences with going to, right? We practice this in the class. And for sure here, you are going to write the compliment in this one. It says, who are you? Invite to Thanksgiving dinner. How do you compliment this sentence using going to? After the subject, you use going to and the verb. Invite. Going to invite. The next one, I am my family and some friends. Going to and going to ask. Do. I am going to ask, right? I am going to ask my friend and some good, my family, sorry, and some good friends. What are you? For Halloween. Going to, going to do. do. Going to do. What are you going to do for Halloween? The next one. I don't know. I am no. anything special. I am not going to do. I am not going. I am not going to do anything special. The next one. How are your parents New Year's Eve? Going to, going, going to going to celebrate. celebrate. Going to celebrate. The next one. They are to their neighbor's party. They are going to go. Very good. They are going to go to their neighbor's party. What is your sister? Going to do. Very good. What is your sister going to do for her birthday? Her boyfriend. Hair out for dinner, uh, to dinner. Going to, to, take, 
is going to take. Is going to oh, sorry. Take. take her out to dinner. Right? So as you can see here, here you have the different uses. You only write, you only have to write the complement, right? With going to in mm -hmm. this case. And you don't have to write the complete sentence, right? Only the complement with going to. Very good. So let's continue here. And for this section, we have one final evaluation. That is this one, right? On this final evaluation, it's the reading that we did, right? We did this reading yeah, many times. La leímos un montón de veces. And here we have, to celebrate, Elena's friends are going to pull on her ear 21 times. True or false? True. 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 Right? Because it says here, to wish me a happy birthday, they are going to pull on my ear 21 times. One per each year. It's true. Yan Xin Shai is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. Me. It's false. false. Who is going to cook the noodles? Her mother. Her mother, right? Her mother. Her mother. False. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki. On his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. True. 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 Because red is the color that represents a new life. Very good. And Philippe Jolie. Este lo recuerdan con cariño. <laughs> because of the audio. Philippe Jolie. Uh, Philippe, friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. False. False. Because he is going to take them out to dinner. And so this was the last evaluation on this uh, section. Difficult? Yes or no? No. <laughs> yes. no. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> you are very honest. I love it. <laughs> no, right? It was not really difficult. And this is what you have to do on every single session. Check on the information. And then right. So okay, let's continue. Here in section number two, that it's about the parts of the body, the different illnesses and the different things. Here we have a listening. On this listening, we have different conversations. And we are going to check where do these people hurt. Vamos a ver dónde le duele a cada uno. Conversation one. Tell me where, what is the problem of this person? Page 80, exercise four. Listening. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. 1. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Where where do these person hurt? Head. Your head, your throat. His head and his throat. Right? His head and his throat. Maybe he has COVID. <laughs> Number two. Look at Allison. Look at Allison. Poor Allison. Let's see what happened to her. Two. Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. 
What is the problem with Allison? Back. Back. Her back is back. Her back is elbow. Hair back. Hair back and her elbow. It's a lady you use hair. With the boy, you use his. For the lady, you use her. Because she fell from the stairs, for sure. Conversation three. Let's listen to this one. Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh huh. Tooth. The tooth, right? The tooth. He has tooth. a toothache. And the last one, look at Marta. Like a dinosaur. There you go. Four. <laughs> oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. What is the problem with Marta? Her wrist and her eyes. Those are the problem with the people that we have here. So that was the first evaluation that we had on this section. The second one that we had here was about uh, ah, the one that we are going to do today. We are going to work on these ones. They are called, uh, well, the sentences that we have here, they are called imperatives. This is something that we are going to study today. So I am going to go later on class over this topic. The imperatives are orders, orders that we give to people. And it is very common that we receive orders from who? Who gives the orders when you are sick? Doctor. The doctor, right? The doctor. the doctor gives you the orders. And what do you do? You don't obey, right? It's like, quédese en casa. No ande haciendo esfuerzos. Ay, la abuela en el techo, bajando limón. Descanse, mire su espalda. ¿Qué anda haciendo la mamá? Limpiando. Mire, no hable porque le acaban de sacar las manos. No, don't do it. So those are imperatives. Imperatives are orders that you receive. For example, in the English class, I always say, speak English, practice your English, don't speak Spanish. In some cases, the imperatives start with don't when they are negative, right? Don't do it. Don't go. Don't sleep late, right? But in the normal form, they use only the verb. Yes, Elva, tell me. Imperative is finally your middle. middle. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly like that, right? Those are the imperatives. It's like, hmm. And it is very, uh, well, something important about the imperatives is that they don't have a subject. Ellos no usan un sujeto en las oraciones. Because you are the subject. I don't have to tell you, Natalie, don't do this. No, the doctor is going to tell me, don't go, don't stay up late. Don't use the computer a lot. Wear your glasses. And you see here, teacher Nati with no glasses. <clears throat> so those are imperatives. If you have a problem with your, uh, with your teeth and you have a toothache, what do you need to do? Don't go a dentist. Don't drink a dentist. Take a dentist. Don't eat a dentist. Call a dentist or see a dentist. See a dentist. You have to see a dentist, right? You have to see a dentist. So that's the best option for this one. Too much. Too much. Don't drink, call, take, don't eat, don't worry. <laughs> it's possible. But if you have a stomachache, oh, don't eat too don't much. Don't eat too much, right? For Christmas, right? And in New Year, para Navidad y Año Nuevo. 
quizá otro pancito, mamá. Uh, and dying later on. Right? Two aspirin. Take, right? Take two aspirin. To school. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go, right? If you are like, <laughs> don't go to school, don't go to the office. Ew, COVID. In bed. Stay in bed. Stay. Stay in bed. Es lo más irónico. Cuando le dice, quédese en cama, descanse. Usted no descansa. Cuando no quiere, no tiene y no puede descansar, quiere estar en cama. Right, come on. Stay in bed, right? The next one, a doctor. Call. Call a doctor. Call. Call a doctor. Coffee. Drink. 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 You will be a very good doctor. Usted sería muy bueno doctor, ya ve. Drink coffee. You know, a Coca-Cola will be good for that. You see, the doctor. <clears throat> and the last one, any candy. Don't, don't, don't eat. eat. Don't eat. Don't, don't eat. worry. Okay, don't eat any candy. And in this case, too much, it is. Don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry don't too worry. much. If you are stressed, the doctor is going to say, don't worry too much, right? Don't si tiene solución, para que se preocupa. Y si no tiene solución, para que se preocupa. So, don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. And you submit it. And for sure, you uh, call. Uh, this is... See a doctor. See a doctor. See a doctor, right? See a doctor, you see? That's what you have to do if you have a problem the here. First, and this call, one is? Call, call, call. Call a dentist, right? There you go. The two, pos the two options are possible, but the order, you have to respect the order. Very good. So this was the next evaluation that you had on this section of the platform. And the last one that you had about the health problems is one that we are going to use today. In this one, we have 10 simple ways to improve your health, right? Different options that you can use or different options that you can practice for you to improve your health, for you to improve the way you live. It's In this present, case. Present with your energy for the moment. This one, 10 simple ways to improve your health. The first one, Noemi, can you help me to read number one? Eat breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast. Give, breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Very good. David Morales, number two. Oh. Good for a walk. Walking is good exercise and exercise is necessary for good health. Okay, go for a walk, right? Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise and exercise is necessary for good health. Number three, Elmer, please. Close your teeth. Very good. Don't just brush, dent. Floss, flossing keeps your gums healthy. Healthy. Do you know what's the meaning of gums? Health. Do you know what? I don't know, teacher. Okay, gums are in CS. And when you say floss your teeth, when you use a flossing for you to clean them, right? Flossing keeps your gums healthy, right? When you use the floss in your gums, the gums are in CS, right? The in CS. Don't say in CS, it's in CS. Okay, number four, it's going to be with Carlos. Go ahead, Carlos, number four. Drink a cup of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Very good, water helps your body in many ways. Do you like to drink water, people? 
Yes. Yes, this. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like to drink water. It's very good. I no. drink more water. More than eight cups a day. That's very good. The next one, we are going to go with Julio Ortiz, number five. Um, number five, stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important <clears throat> for your muscles. 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 Stretching is important for your muscles. For the muscles. Okay, in some cases when you do exercise, we have to stretch, right, for you to feel better. <clears throat> then next one, Daisy Perez, number six. Wear a seat belt every year. Seat belts save thousands of lives. Okay, every year, thousands. every year, every year, belts, seat belts, belts sorry, seat, seat belts, belts seat saves belts. save thousands of lives. Thousands of lives. Thousands. Thousands of lives. Miles de vidas, right? The seat belt. When you when you go on the car, wear a seat belt because it saves. It can save your life. Elba, number seven. Do some type of challenge for brain. For example, do a crossword, puzzle, or read a new book. Okay. Do something to challenge your brain. Something. Do something okay. to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Very good. Eduardo, number eight. Protect your skin. Use a lot. Skin. Ah, perdón. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Very good. Right? Kaiser loves to participate. <laughs> he always barks. <laughs> okay, protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer. Moisturizer is suavizante, humectante. And sunscreen. Sunscreen is protector solar. Number nine, Elena. And you know, calcium. Your bones need it. Daily foods like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Very good. And number 10, Anna. And uh, tie up. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and work or sit down and listen to music. Okay, when you say take a time out, a time out, it's a break, right? Un tiempo fuera. Yes. Take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. If you, for example, have to do home office, you have to stand up and move a little bit for 20 minutes, listen to music, go to watch TV, but don't do the same for a long time because that it's going to affect, right? That it's going to affect your body. So those are 10 simple ways to improve your health. Now, to get exercise, to get exercise, what do you have to do? To get exercise. Do you have to eat breakfast, protect your skin, go for a walk or a stretch for five minutes? Go for a walk. Go for a walk, go for a walk right? You have to go, go for, for a walk. walk. To help your bones, los huesos. Get enough calcium. Get enough get calcium, enough right? Calcium. Plus your teeth. <laughs> well, get enough calcium. To help your muscles. Stretch for five minutes. Stretch for five minutes. To keep your gums healthy. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Disculpe, me voy a salir un ratito que mi niña tiene un problema en el ojo y necesito atenderla. No, no tenga pena. Vamos, vamos, Jenny. Vamos, vaya, haga ahí lo que tiene que hacer. No se preocupe. Ay, no, pobrecita. <laughs> to keep your gums healthy. Yeah, call the doctor. <laughs> Go to the doctor. No llevemos los ejercicios <laughs> a la vida real. <laughs> Floss your teeth, right? <laughs> to have energy for the morning. 
Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. breakfast. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. But to have energy, eat a healthy breakfast, right? Not like seven pupusitas, one chocolate, three sweet breads and everything. <laughs> because instead of having energy, you are going to be like, I tengo sueño. After all this big Salvadorian <laughs> breakfast. And to challenge your brain. Do a cross. Do a cross. Do a cross. Do a cross. Or read a new book. Do a cross for puzzle or read a new book. Very good. So those were the exercises that we had for your section number two. In the next section of our uh, platform, we are going to work on that one, even when, when we haven't uh, worked on the topics, but many of you did them already, right? Section number one, we have about places in town, right? Vamos a hacer los ejercicios para que ustedes vayan avanzando en su plataforma y eh, lo vamos a ir cubriendo en clase después, okay? We have here, Jean. Uh, we're going to, to listen to a conversation about Jim, about the mom, the father, and Mike, right? They are going to talk about different places in town. Where is Jean going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? Where do you buy something that you need for clothing? ¿Dónde lo comprarían normalmente? At the supermarket, at the department store, or at the beach? At the department store. Yeah. At the department store, right? In the super, well, now in the supermarket, yeah, if you go there, you can buy anything that you need, right? We are going to listen. What is the mother going to buy in the supermarket? What is the father going to buy in the drugstore? La farmacia. It's not venta de drogas, okay? It's la farmacia. Drogeria, because it's where they create the medicine. And... Wait, ya voy a poner la conversación. <laughs> where is Mike going to go with his dad? Listen to the conversation and we're going to complete it. Para todos los que aún todavía le falta trabajar en esos ejercicios, we're going to do it. Page 87, exercise 2, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. To the department store, right? Two. The next one. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. What does oh, she need? Good. Can you get Cook chocolate cookies? Cookies for, sure. cookies, for cookies, cookies for dessert. Cookies for dessert. Cookies. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. He needs aspirin. 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 Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad! Where is he going to go? To the drugstore drug 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 to get the newspaper. newspaper. To the drugstore to get the newspaper, right? Those are different places in town that we have. Different places in town. In the next one, here we have a map. And in the map, you have different places, right? I know you have studied this in the previous topics, and we are going to study this tomorrow in class. <laughs> But we have different places in the town, lugares en la ciudad, right? Different places that we can visit. <laughs> and it says, the first one, we're going to listen to the people and where are they going to go? Here in the map, let me show you the map. Here we have the department store, 
la tienda por departamentos, you have the bank, you have the movie theater, el cine, you have a restaurant, you have a drugstore, that's the pharmacy, the supermarket, the shoe shop, right? The shoe shop is la tienda de zapatos, right? Shoe shop, the shoe shop. Uh, we have the bookstore, que es la tienda de libros, the bookstore, the post office, el correo, and the hospital, right? They have the hospital here. And for sure, they have a gas station and a parking lot, right? These are the different places that they have in this picture. So here, based on this one, we also have the different streets, right? The streets are like this and the avenues are like this, right? The streets are uh, horizontal and the avenues are vertical, right? And it happens in the same in all the different maps. Todas las calles son horizontales y las avenidas son en vertical. And for sure, here we are going to study many other things about prepositions and everything, but right now, we are going to listen to the program and try to answer the questions. Where are they going to go? And let's check. And then I'm going to explain. Page 89, exercise six, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. What is between the restaurant and the department store? TV bank. 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 It's the bank, right? Between the restaurant and the department store is the bank. Here, here we have after the bank. Veamos dónde van a ir después del banco. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on Second Avenue next to the supermarket. P and J supermarket. Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. What is it next to the supermarket? The drugstore or the shoe shop? The they are going store. to the drugstore. David's drugstore. Drug David's drugstore, right? And the drug next store. one, the drugstore. The next one. Here, let's look at the map. Three. Hey, what happened? Wait, I don't know what happened. Oh, I don't <laughs> Yeah, my internet. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> I am I am going to do that right now. Tiene <laughs> calda. Okay, let's see. There you go. It was slow. Page 89. Market? Yes. It's on Second Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Across from the supermarket, we have Maria's restaurant. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on Second Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Next to the coffee shop, the shoe shop. How about it shops? Favorite shoes, right? Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes, right? 
That's it. And the last evaluation that we have for this one is this one. This is, let me see. There you go. I'm very sorry. If not, we cannot listen to each other. Where can the lady get stamps? Stamps are the ones that you put on the letters, las que les ponemos al correo, estampillas. What do they need? We are going to listen to that. Where is the gas station? And how can the woman get to a restroom? Let's listen to that one. We have a lot of listening today. Okay, let me see. Okay, let me see. Here we go. Eyes one. Listening. What are you looking for? Listen to the conversations. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. One. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters, and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great. Thanks. Where can they buy stamps? At the drugstore. At the drugstore. Drug drug Good. The next one. What do they need? Two. So what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. We don't have any drinks. Let's stop at the supermarket on the way there. We can get some lemonade. Good idea. What do they need? They need drinks. Drinks. They need drinks. And what are they going to drink? Lemonade. Lemonade, right? Lemonade. <laughs> Very healthy. Where is the gas station? Let's listen to that. Three. Excuse me. Is there a gas station around here? Um, I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. You can't miss it. I'm glad it's not far. I really need more gasoline. Where is the gas station? On the corner of Main and First. On the corner of Main and First. On the corner, right? En la esquina. On the corner of Main and First. And the last one. How can the woman get a restroom? Four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street. Okay. <laughs> Again, <laughs> creo que mi audio ha muerto. Okay. So, but the thing is that, uh, okay. She, okay, she's going to get a restroom when she goes up the street. And let me just go back to the evaluation. Sorry for the inconveniences. Mi internet hoy está renuente. At the drugstore. They're going to need drinks on the corner of Main Street. And she's going to go up a street for two blocks, right? I think it's for two blocks. Let me just check. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. So go up the street for two blocks and yep. two blocks. Son dos cuadras. Dos cuadras. Right? And yeah. those are the evaluations, right? Those are the evaluations of the three sections. Si no les habían terminado, pues ya les terminamos todas. Just for you to go and check. And for sure, after this one, you are going to have what it's come next are the midterm exams. These ones are in general, right? These ones are. Yeah, general review 
of the three sections that you have studied, right? And what you are going to do here on this uh, review, it's just to answer the exams that are there, okay? So here you have different exams. You have a listening, you have questions, questions with WH, right? And for sure, here you have a, a complete the conversation. You just have to select an option. Remedy. And the last one, it's an article about home remedies, okay? This one, it's something that you are going to do on your own, right? You have to do it on your own. You have a listening here. And on this listening, what you are going to do is uh, to check. You're going to check the information, right? Do you remember what or how old is Mark going to be? Vamos a ver si ya lo hicieron. Do you remember? He's going to be 13 years old. Yeah. 30 years. 30 or 13? 30. 30. Or 13. 13. 13. 13. 13, right? They are going to have a party when? On Friday, on Saturday, or on Sunday? Saturday. 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 They are going to dance, sing songs, or watch television in the party? Sing songs. Sing songs. Right? Let's see if you were right. Yes, you were right. <laughs> right? I can see that you did it. Ahí sí, ya no me mienten que ya lo hicieron todos. Good. <laughs> Let's see the next one. Match the questions with the answers. Are we going to work this weekend? What no, is the we're not. Answer? No, we're, we're not. Relax. We're going to relax. We are going to relax, right? You are going yeah. to relax. Are they going to cook dinner? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. Very good. Are you going to exercise this evening? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to go swimming. Very good. Is Bill going to do anything after work? Yes, he is. Yes, he's going to visit his parents. The, he's going to visit his parents, right? His parents. Perfect. Number five. Are Pam and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend? No. They, no. Are. they, they are, are going, they are going to party. have a party. They are going to have a party. Is it going to rain tomorrow? No. No, it's, no. Not. no, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. No, it is not. It's going to be cloudy. Cloudy is a nublado, right? Nublado. And there you go, right? Very good job. I can see that you did your exams. Very nice. Eso me encanta. Mis estudiantes son bien correctos. The next yeah. one. <laughs> the next one. Match the the answers with the WH question. In this one, we need the question. Next summer, we are going to go to Alaska. Where are you going? Where are, Where are you going, going to, to go, go to next summer. summer? Very good. Alaska. Wow. wow. We are Who going, are going, going to, to get, get there? there. Okay. How? How oh, are you going are you to going get, there? Going to get, get there? there? Como se van a ir? We are going to take a boat. How are you going to get there? That sounds exciting. And it Exciting. says, I'm going to go with my family. We are you are going, going to go with? Are you going to with? Who are you Who going, are to, you going to, to go with? with? Great. We are going to, uh, we're going Ohio. to go on June 21st. When are you going to go? When are you going to go? When are you going to go? When, porque estamos buscando una fecha. When are you going to go? And for sure, you have your 20 points there. There you go. Ya ven que no cuesta sacarse 100 en todos los ejercicios. We need to work a little bit and to pay attention. The next one. The next one that we have here. Complete the conversation. A headache. 
I feel, I get, or I have. I have. I have. I have a headache. I have. These pills, estas píldoras. Take. Take. Take these pills. Take these pills. The matter. What? 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 What's the matter? What's the matter, right? I don't feel well. Well, I have a stomachache. I have a stomachache. Do you feel today? How? How? How do you feel today? Not so good. I. I have. I have sore eyes. I have sore eyes. Sore eyes, right? I have sore eyes. Sore eyes. I have a bad cake. Don't. Exercise. Don't exercise. Don't relax. <laughs> and this use, medication. Use the medication. Use, use this use. medication, right? Use medication. Yeah. No, what was the what was the magic medication? <laughs> use this medication, right? And the final evaluation, right? The final evaluation that we had was an article. For this article, I am going to ask Jorge Luis. Uh, let me see, Joaquin, Heidi, and let me see, quien no me participado ahora, Ingris. A cold, please, go ahead, Mr. Jorge. A cold. What can you do? The microphone. <laughs> What can you do for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. Okay, hot chicken soup, right? Hot okay. water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. Imagine this is going to end up in diarrhea. <laughs> a cold. Let's go with Joaquin. A cough. A cough. Do you have a bad cold? Drink warm tea and take some honey. This can make your throat feel better. Very good job. This can make your throat feel better. And the next one, a headache. Katie. A headache. What about a headache? Put a cold cloth in your health or splash your face with cold water. You can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. So they say that if you put your hands in hot water, it's going to help you with the headache because it is going to distract your attention. And the last one, Ingrid's insomnia. Can't sleep at night. Drink a large glass of warm milk or day a very warm bath. Okay. Can't sleep at night? Drink, drink a large glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath if you have insomnia. Do you suffer from insomnia? Yes no. or no? Yes. <laughs> no. So now you know that you can drink a large glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath. Ahora no da insomnio por el calor. For a cold, you can drink warm tea or take some honey. Some people eat hot chicken soup, milk, or a cloth on your head. What do you do for a cold? Some people eat, some hot, people chicken eat hot chicken soup. Hot chicken soup. For the cough? You can drink warm tea and take some honey. You can drink warm tea or take some honey. Very good. Uh, for a headache? Put a cold cloth on your head. Put a cold cloth on your head. And for insomnia? Drink a rich glass Very good job. So this is the section for the midterm exams, okay? 
si no lo habíamos logrado o ya lo logramos, solo nos falta irlo a completar. Ahora no, a mí ya solo va a ir a llenar. <laughs> Good. So, this was the section for the midterm evaluations. And for sure, now you are going to continue working on section four, but we are going to continue with our classes in the normal topics, right? So, for tomorrow, we are going to keep on working on the classes. We finished with the platform for today. Les dije que hoy la íbamos a revisar. Así que, excellent job on the platform. I am going to see you tomorrow to continue with our knowledge and with our classes. Have a beautiful night, our dear students. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.